Aye, yeah, yeah. So, I'm um, at the last minute. Emma, Empress, who be can't tell me, say, won't to me, Bami Show, who are my number, who need my telephone number, WhatsApp, and direct. A dear now, to a nunti, me for so, said Brow Show, so I went to me and frame it. I'm a producer, I'm a frame it, producer, sir. Now, me, me, the other way. You're my dad, job hot, a feminine diloto. Hey, aye, the early hours of Monday after a very eventful weekend saw some violence brewing from some other side. And this is the beef of the Empresses. The Empress beef between gospel musicians, Empress Gifty, and actress and TV host or TV star Nanama McBrown. Well, this is what transpired between them over the weekend of which has generated lots and lots of conversation. Empress Gifty was publicized to be on Empress Nanama Mac Brown's Onuya Showtime show. But then, after the whole show, whilst her fans and some people were waiting to see the gospel musician on that particular show, they were left disappointed after last minute Nanama Mac Brown announced the unfortunate situation that Empress Gifty would not be able to make it or couldn't make it to the, her show of which he expressed some level of disappointment and all of that. Even captured on Ghana web says Empress Gifty, Empress Nanama McBrown slams Empress Gifty for missing out on Onya Showtime. Well, this and many more is what we are going to discuss here today. As to what actually happened or what actually transpired of which made Empress Gifty not to show up on Nanama Max Brown show, the real reason behind has has been like has been revealed. At them, Mensa Chotome, who happens to be the PRO of Empress Gifty or working a team member of Empress Gifty's management, has spoken and has given details of the reason why em Empress Gifty missed Nanama Mark Brown's show. But then, so many people read different meanings into the particular commentary. That's the not all the disappointment that Nama McBrown expressed on her show when she heard the news that Empress Gifty would not be making it to her show as publicized. This and many more is what we are going to discuss today. My name is Roland Amati. Thanks for tuning in. This is Info Day Podcast with me live on Roland Report. If this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this content with others so they can also enjoy. And also don't forget that this show is sponsored by Ghana's number one ride hailing app Shagzi. Go on your Google Play Store, your app store. If you're a driver and you're looking to making some cool cash, of course, sign up with just 20 Ghana cities. Whatever you earn, whatever you get is for you. You pay no commission to anybody. And if you're a rider and you are looking to uh, looking for the most safe, secure, and affordable ride on the market, then know that Shagzi has got you covered. Shagzi, it is time to ride. Now, let's go straight into today's topic. So just like I said, or as captured on Ghana Web, there is so many speculations, or there are so many speculations as to why Empress Gifty missed out on an Amma Max Brown show. Already, we all know the rumors of tension that is brewing between them, where people think that, okay, it is because Empress Gifty has even revealed in the past that the Amma Max Brown show that she's occupying today was actually given to her and she rejected due to her busy schedules. Some people also say that, no, their food or their beef is churning out of the fact that Empress Gifty was once the reason why Nanama Mark Brown cooking show was taking off the um, United Television platform. Of, so some people were talking about sabotaging and all of that. But then, this is what actually happened. So, as I told you earlier, Empress Gifty was supposed to be on Anama Max Rounds on your showtime on Onya TV, or that is on um, Media General. But then, it was later that it was publicized, or Anama Max Brown had to come and apologize to her audience that Empress Gifty will not be able to make it to the particular show. And the reason to her, according to her, as at that time she was making this particular announcement, was unknown. But Adam Mensah Chotome, who happens to be a team member of Empress Gifty, has also come out today on Daybreak Hits or Anidosti's Daybreak Hits, has also expressed the main reason why 
Empress Gifty missed out on Nana Ma Max Brown show contrary to the speculations. But before that, let's listen to what Nana Ma Max Brown said, she, what she told her audience. And if indeed she was being sarcastic or she, you think she was upset, let me play you the video so that after which you share your views in the comment section. Stick and stay. I'll be right back. I got 15 minutes, not yeah. 10 above. Yeah. Now, media gun to a crab to gun of when you not yet to a young common so. Gun to a no any saying, said they post to a flyer no ana you who say, and your normal was so, including Empress Gifty. Ya think Christ is here, say, be being to own to me, ma. Into no, yeni who, yeni, we have nothing to do. Yen to me, ya won't she, or see me be a quine. Emergency BS in quantity on to me, man. Tia Bepa Gana for me. I shall for a motion and in a chow say, BS here be and we wish her luck, yes. but we don't know. And we, we, on my details, no, the young say be BS on to me, man. Tia Be, you better not say, say, important to me, a fray, a cassache, but a yeah, yeah, say, wa ma. Now at the last minute, and na Empress, who be can't tell me, say, won't to me, but me show, who are my number. Who need me telephone number, WhatsApp and direct? A dear na toa a nunti me for so said brow show so one to me and frame. I'm a producer, I'm a frame producer, sir. Now me may be over there. Ben yes, at the end of the day, your bomb pie said they are two beyond a ready be you were free. Now you young quite near to me as she out now. Frame, and this I'm a fine show. What did I come? That's it. Nice. <laughs> that is it. According to Empress Nanama McBrown, well, I don't know what you make of her demeanor, her tone, and the things that she was saying. Do you think she was joking or she was really, really upset at her sister for not showing up? But then, um, Adam Mensa Chotome, who happens to be part or a management member of Empress Gifty, also on um, Day Break Hit with Annie Dusty, also expressed the main reason why um, Empress Gifty actually missed out on Anama Max Brown show. According to him, just when Empress Gifty had finished the performance at, um, despite, he, de despite, uh, Osekwami, despite in-law's funeral, she had a sudden call that her daughter had taken ill in school at the Eastern region, where she had to rush to the place and even that the daughter was transferred even to the like to a hospital here in Accra in Tema of which even in the process Empress Gifty lost her phone even in the process so this coupled with so many things is what makes or made her in communicado even when they had to convey this particular message to the producers of Empress Nama McMahon quote and unquote at the dying minute or during last minute and even so According to Adam Sachotome, she relayed this particular or he relayed this particular information to the team even around 558 minutes or some few minutes before the show even aired or something. So, well, for clarification's sake, let me play you the interview of Adam Sachotome on um and the Dusty's Day Break Hit this morning. And when we come back, we wrap it up with that one. Look, um, are you still working with Empress Gifty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you? Yeah, yeah, I am. Okay. It was publicized she was supposed to appear on uh, Nanama McBrown's show. Yeah. What is he? Uh, eh? Adam? Yes, I am. And hmm. we all know the um back and forth a lot of people have been saying the rumors about Empress Gifty and McBrown that they are loggerheads, that they had some issues, da 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 da. Although um, Empress was here on my birthday and she debunked those rumors. She didn't appear as publicized. Yesterday, because my artist was going on the show, I I I tuned in to watch. Yeah, Mimi. Mimi Mi, 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 Mi Africa. Yeah, Unfortunately, yeah. I missed her performance. Oh, it was fantastic. Was she the opening act? Some something like that. And so yeah. when I tuned in, she had, I think it, it uh, I even watched that to like, ah, uh, what's the name? Camido yeah, even, yeah. even joined them. I went downstairs, came up, still, the, even downstairs I tuned in again and still Camido was on it. But I, I, I lost Empress Gifty and Mima Africa. 
now the info I'm getting is that Empress Gifty failed to be on the show. What happened? Thank you for this opportunity, Ali Dosti. I mean, uh, first of all, Empress Gifty and Empress Mark Brown. Two empresses. Are very good friends. Two I empresses. Mean, they they are really good friends. My and, beautiful I mean, sisters. They, they do not have any issue like the way it is played out in the public. The empress did not show up on the show, not because of any malice. Yesterday, I mean, people saw her perform at the Thanksgiving ceremony of her uh, uh, despite in law. Mm. Just after the performance, she received a sudden call that the daughter had taken it up and she's at a school in Akosombo. Mm. So, right, she didn't even sit after the performance. I mean, those who were there, they realized that you know, she rushed to the car and left to the Eastern region to go and see the situation. I mean, you know, as a parent, you're a mm. parent mm. and you know you cannot receive a call <clears> of your daughter <throat> taking it at school and still go about your normal duties. So, she went and they even had to transfer the child to Tema. An empress went home this morning just, to, oh. just to go and change. In the process, she even lost her phone. So many people who are calling her were not getting to her. And they were calling me. I even had to call the husband. So this was why empress couldn't show up. So as at 5.58, I called their production. You know, she said... I mean, somebody called. I called their production. Who said somebody called? Mark Brown on the show. Oh, really? Yeah, it was me. I called their production around 5.58 to relay the information to them. What time does the show start? I think the show it, it opens around 6, 6.30 there. Right. So, I... But Empress would go on later, mm. around 9. It closes at 10. Mm. So, because I didn't want it to be a surprise, as soon as... The information can I relate to them and let them know that okay, this is the situation, so that they will know how to do it. But we were even still hopeful that she will make it. The situation will be out, uh, like under control, so she makes it. So myself and one of the team members who normally backs her to sing because she was going to sing on the show. You sing? No, a, a team member oh, who okay. backs her right. to sing. I went with him to the show because we thought that okay it could be under control for her to come so i didn't want a situation she would come and that person there was no there. Aid. Okay. so i went there with him and we sat uh, then it was even when the show was almost closing that we, we we left it wasn't by any malice we've had a lot of i mean people propounding theories and i mean like, giving like the what? reason i'm coming so if you watch clearly Mark Brown's video where she apologized to the fans and said uh, she was told she had an emergency, but they've not been told what it was. She later even said that they wish her, whatever the situation is, she wish, wishes her luck. I mean, this was the situation. And Do you... Okay, first of all, just as I asked, mm. what are some of the things people are saying? People think that uh, somebody from another station may have stopped her or uh, uh, they have an issue. That's why she didn't go. But, I mean, they are very good friends. I mean, if you know both of them, they, they talk among themselves. They they are very good. They support each other. With, with, mean, with Mark Brown's statement, do you feel some sort of sarcasm in there? Uh, uh, what? Uh, it has rather fested the... I the mean, rumors. the rumors. Really? People, people think that it was intentional. Empress, Empress Gifty did it intentionally to maybe sabotage the show because, you know, if you are doing a live show and you have plans and, I mean, so, like, people feel it was intentional. And, I mean, it makes, it's like maybe somebody has been thrown under the bus, but it wasn't intentional. I mean, right, I <laughs> issues, you cannot, just for not going on a, a radio or TV show, you cannot use your daughter's sickness as an excuse. No, I mean, who, who say your daughter is not sick and you say my daughter is sick and as a result, I'm, 
I'm going to use it as an excuse. Who would do that? Oh, well, some people use yeah. even even use accidents. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, other stuff. Who would do that? <clears throat> but, you understand? And I mean, so, so how is the daughter now? I mean, she, she she's better. She's been responding transferred to, to Tema, and I'm um, she's responding to wow, treatment. Anger, I mean, anger. Uh, we she's she's been through a lot. I mean, just last week. It, the mother wasn't well. She she was admitted at the hospital. I mean, but I mean, on the public, you you just have to ensure you do things. And just after that, I mean, this has happened. So it wasn't by any malice. We apologize to, I mean, the 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 teaming viewers who were really waiting to to see her on your TV, United uh, Showtime viewers, and I mean, Empress and Mark Brown's, I mean, viewers who were eager to see both of them, but. It was just sudden turn of events. Well, which uh, this is actually what came from Eden Mensa Chotome, who happens to be the PRO and a team member of Empress Gifty. Do you buy into the story or you say or be lie if it's set up? Well, for what it's worth, I think Eden Mensa's explanation um, actually makes sense. Whether it is true or not, for me too, I think when it comes to sicknesses and all of that, and especially if it is about your children as a parent these are some of the things that can actually strike a chord in you for you to abandon everything that you are doing just to pay attention to some of these things so contrary probably contrary to some of the rumors that are going around some people are saying order from above actually made her um, withdraw from the last minute and all that but the year here is the true explanation empress gifty has not spoken yet but here is the two explanations even to this particular story. Share your views in the comment section. Let me hear from you. Let me know what you think about this particular story and whether or not you believe them. Or you believe, who do you believe? Nanama Mark Brown, who probably people think is feeling foul play somewhere. Or the story of Empress Gifty on why she actually missed out. Um, on Nanama Mark Brown's Onya Showtime. Share your views in the comment section. Let me hear from you. Let me know what you think until then. Thanks for spending time with me. My name is Roland Amati. This has been Info Day Podcast with me live on Roland Report. If you love the content, don't forget to subscribe. Share this with others so they can also enjoy. And of course, share your views in the comment section. Until then, I'll see you when I see you. Peace. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. Yeah, job hot. Hey! Aye! Hey!